As I get closer to completing my first TOS 1350 scale model, I've decided to start focusing on my next plans to build the 1350 refit model. In this episode, I will be designing the chasing light effect circuit controls to customize the hangar bay on my NCC 1701 refit model build on a low cost budget. That's all coming on right now. Welcome back to a new and exciting new year. Today we take a look at how to build a low cost light circuit control for the hangar bay for the 1350 scale refit model build. To do this, I'll be using off the shelf parts that can be found anywhere on eBay. First up is 10 2.5 to 8 volt LED lights. I haven't decided on what color I'm gonna be using yet. These happen to be red. You're going to need one NE555P 8-pin single precision timer, this little guy right there. And you're going to need a 1CD40117BE CMOS DK counter. And of course you're going to need the IC chip socket adapters to connect them. And those can be found also anywhere online. These happen to be solder type. You're also going to need a 503 potentiometer. Two 50 volt capacitors. And 12 uh, 1 to 2K resistors. And of course, the star of the show a PCV circuit board. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go with this type of connector to provide power for it or go with the big guy this guy right here. It all depends on how much room I have in the model to fit the, the, all these parts. That about wraps it up for the parts list. I'll be back once I complete it building the entire circuit and soldering all of the parts together and showing you the final product. We'll be right back. Okay folks, we're going to start by laying out the circuit and putting all the parts together. I'm going to start with the main chip here. Goes there. Okay, we'll solder these parts first and we'll be right back. Okay, 
So I've installed some of the resistors and just so you can see where they go and how they go. Uh, over here I got the 2.2K resistor on the top and the 10K here and the rest of the resistors are 1K and they go all the way across here and to here and then the LED lights go here and there's another two 1K here and here I'm gonna solder these first and then come back and solder the rest and then come back and show you the finished product One thing I wanted to point out is when you do the soldering on these, you got to make sure that the soldering goes all the way around the point. As you can see, this one here, the second one, is not completely soldered, so I got to go back and retouch that one and make sure they're all touching. Just wanted to point that out. All right, so I got the rest of the resistors in place. I just got to solder the remaining ones. And we'll be almost done with this guy. And there you have it folks nice clean solders they should look like little pyramids when you're done with them to make sure that they're soldered properly this guy is almost done all I gotta do now is um, put the LED lights and decide which ones I'm gonna use I may do some dry test runs before I solder the final parts and uh, you'll get to see how this guy works okay the chips are installed the timer is installed always make sure that you install them with the notch matching the assembly where it goes mounted just like so and the same one for this one okay I'm gonna try using the red lights just for testing and I wanted to point out the easiest way to figure out which one is the positive and negative on a LED is just throw a meter on it like so so take the red put it on one side and if it's on the right polarity the light will go on just like that so we know that the short one is the negative and the long one is the positive. So there's no guesswork. I'll do that again. Camera's having a little trouble focusing. Negative, light goes on. If you flip it the other way, and you try it nothing so you know that this is the right way okay now that I share that we'll be right back so I've completed setting up all the circuits and the resistors I've soldered only one light just to test it because I'm not going to be using this color lead and I set the power supply to 2.3 volts 
so we can test it. And this is a 2 to 5 volt circuit. So here goes the first test. And there you have it. One chasing circuit. Once those 10 LED lights are lit up in there, it is going to look really nice. And uh, we can put this on the hanger and get the same effect. Can't wait to drill the holes and try this thing out. See how it looks. That about wraps it up for this update. We'll see you around next time.